Hey, what's up, family? Robert Claiborne Jr. here, and welcome to On the Road to Purpose interview where I'm going to share with you insights of some of the struggles that I went through back in May 2018. When I tell you I was in the darkest, I mean the darkest season of my life. I was struggling in my personal life. We know that consists of a number of different areas. I was struggling in my work life. I was just struggling in every area of my life and I didn't know how to make it better. Like my situation, I didn't know how to change it. I didn't know what to do. I was lost, getting up every day, going to work, just unhappy. I was I was truly in a situation where it's like, okay, God, like what am I here for? What did you create me for? And he met me where I was. He he met me at my lowest. He met me at my darkest. And he took me on a journey. And that journey consists of being on the road to learning what my calling and purpose was. And the goal for this interview is, is to help you where you are, to, to give you hope, to let you know no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad your situation is, although it may not seem like it can and will change, God will meet you where you are. If you would just go to him and allow him to take residency in your life, to be Lord over your life, he'll begin to change you as he take you on a journey. And that's that road that's going to help you learn what your calling and purpose is. If you allow him, he will show you. So what are some key verses that help me get through? So God saying, I will never leave nor forsaken you. You know how like we go through things in our lives where we feel like no one cares. We feel like it's just us in this and, and it's hard to get through because we feel alone. We just feel like if we had someone to talk to, if we had someone that kid could encourage me or just be here for me, but instead I'm going through this alone. And Yes, May 2018 and even seasons before then and even after then where I felt that way, where things was just going crazy in my life and I'm not being able to calm the noise and like just feeling alone. It was those times where I could hear his voice. And I know it was his voice for a number of reasons, but you know when you're going through something in life and you hear something speak to you and suddenly, no matter how crazy and chaotic it is around you, the battle is in your mind, you feel this calm, this peace come over you. And suddenly, although Things have not changed. Things have not gotten better. Although you're still going through it physically, suddenly it feels like everything is okay and everything is going to be okay. And there have been a number of occurrences where I heard this voice in my deepest struggle. Even when I didn't see a way out or know a way out, not knowing what to do, suddenly I heard his voice and I know that I wasn't alone. So when he says, I will never leave nor forsaken you, I just believe no matter what I was going through and no matter what I'm going to go through in life, even when I feel like I'm alone, even being married and, you know, just just going through life. Because married, kids, no matter what it is, there all there's always going to be there's always going to be a time in life where we feel like we're by ourselves. But believing and knowing that I will never leave nor forsaken you, 
even when I can't hear them, even when I can't see any signs, because I believe that he would never leave nor forsaken me, looking at like his history, like proof, confirmation, evidence from years up to now, I know that he's with me. And knowing that, I will get through whatever I'm going through and that I'm not alone. Romans 8.28 For we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. That verse, that tells me no matter what I go through in life, for one, I have to go through it is for a reason. No matter if I understand what that reason is, no matter if I know what he's doing in that season of my life, I know that no matter what I go through, that I must go through, and it will work out for my good. And that has helped me keep the right perspective that helped me hold on to my faith because I'm going through it and I will get through to the other side of it. And ultimately it's going to work out for my good. So that helped me to keep going and not give up. James 1, 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials of many kinds, knowing that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be complete, not lacking anything. That verse right there let me know something similar to Romans 8, 28, that I must go through it. And knowing that I was created with a purpose and created for a purpose, I can't fulfill the purpose why God created me as who I am today. I must grow into the person he created me to be. I must develop into the person that I must become before I can fulfill the purpose why he created me. So no matter what I go through in life, I have to consider pure joy because I have an understanding knowing that, yes, I have to go through this. And the reason I have to go through it is because I have to grow through it. I must develop into becoming and the difficult, the trials, the hardships in life, it has a way of growing me. It has a way of developing us in the way that when things are going good, there's no growth in that. There's no development in that. If anything, that's like a, a celebration because things are going well. But when it struggles, when we're going through the struggles, like we have to fight through it. We have to persevere through it. We have to endure through it. And that, that, that stretching of the muscle, we develop. It's when we, when we're going through these experiences, it's, it's being in a situation where, okay, now I have to think differently. I have to think strategically. I have to make better decisions. I have to be conscious of the things that I do. I have to be conscious of the thing that I, you know, what I say. I have to be intentional about certain things. That's, that's producing a discipline. That's producing a consistency. Like that's producing growth. And it is when the, I'm going through it that I know these things must take place and these things will take place. And because I know what I'm going through is for a reason, it's easier to consider it per joy because I know what is doing to me and what is going to do for me, where he's taking me. I have to go through this. And if I don't go through it, I won't grow. I get comfortable. 
Therefore, I won't develop any. I'll remain the same. Who want to change the good times? Who want to change when things are going great? Well, it doesn't matter because it's going well for me. But it's the struggles, it's the difficult, it's the hardships where I have to wake up and put a smile on my face. Although things may not be good at home. It's waking up and 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 putting putting my best foot forward is waking up having that mindset of okay come with it whatever the fight is whatever the battle is is being conscious to know that no matter what today looks like no matter what comes my way today I will win I will defeat Goliath because the war that's set before me will always come. But the victory that I now have in this fight, in this battle, I already have. I just have to walk it out. And it's going to grow me and develop me in ways that a good time, get good moments, good, uh, good season in my life. The difficult ones is what really is going to do that great work inside of me that God desires for, for it to take place, for me to grow and develop, mature, and into a person who he created me to be and become so I can constantly work at fulfilling the purpose why he created me. So that verse right there is special. And to add on to it, when we're going through things in life, we don't know what to do. We don't know how to approach it. Verse 5, it says that, paraphrasing, that if anyone lacks wisdom, then go to God because he gives it. So it's going to him for wisdom in this difficult season of my life. But also, no, it's all about faith because it says that the following verse, it says that if anyone doubt, then he should not expect anything from the Lord because the Bible calls that being double-minded. So no matter what I'm going through in life, I can go to, to Jesus and get his wisdom how to maneuver throughout this season of my life. What he want me to do, what am I supposed to learn from this, like how he want me to handle it, like I can go to him for wisdom that's going to help me in that season of my life. And he's going to guide me throughout as long as I'm as long as I'm obedient and I fully believe that he is showing me the way that I fully believe that he will get me out of it. But when I don't believe, when I'm wavering and compromising in my faith, I can't expect him to reveal to me whatever it is. He needs to reveal to me that he's going to show me a way out. I just have to believe, and I always believe. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to bring you hope in the future. That lets me know no matter how bad my situation is, no matter how bad the circumstances are, no matter what the present looks like, that because he had plans for me, that my life can and it will get better for me. That verse right there is a reminder to me that no matter what I'm going through in life, that it's not over. It's not it. For I know the plans I have for you. Meaning, I might need to brush my plans to find out what his plans are for me. Because his plan, it may not be perfect going along the way, it may not feel good all the time, but his plans guarantee to prevail, guarantee to prevail. And 
if I align my life, align my plans with his plan, no matter what I go through in life, it is guaranteed to me that my life will become better than what it is. And that's what I place my hope in. I place my my hope in Jesus. I I just believe by faith, no matter what my life looks like today, no matter what the struggles I'm going through now, no matter how dark it may be, that I just always believe that where I'm going will be better than where I am today. My future will always be brighter than my past. So when I have to compare my past, my present, and my future, obviously I'm going to choose my future because he has been my rock even in my past, the darkest, my present, even things are okay. He has always been my rock. He is my rock. And no matter the rough turbulence that I might encounter along the way, it is the route. It is the journey. It is the road to a much brighter future. So I will always choose my future. And that is Jesus Christ. He said, for the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give life and give it more abundantly. That is in every area of my life. And that consists of a brighter future than, than anything. What helped me through it all? Struggles, everything I've been through, even when I was going through it, what has helped me in the season, going through the season, is my faith. I just always believe. So ask yourself, who and what do you place your faith in? 